I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Going against the unhealing build has to be one of the most annoying things in the game. However, I understand why it's so much fun to use. The potion bombs are just so satisfying in combination with the book of like makes it pretty damn strong. This is my first time attempting this build. I would love some feedback on it and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's do this. This time we'll get it. This time we'll get it for sure. We start with the broom, which I love starting off with a broom. Let's get the regeneration. Let's get the garlic. Let's roll. We got a second broom. We're going to need that. And we got that in that so we can get ourselves a nice little shovel next round for sure let's turn that and then we could just put the food in like so and we can start our round let's see what he's got oh that's a little bit of different a different start than i'm uh that i'm used to he's got the walrus tusk lucky clover banana sword with the double stone i think we should beat this guy though i feel like our bills are pretty even um he's good you know yeah, I think our bills are pretty even. The only difference is it's ideal poison. And I also have regeneration. So I'm going to be out healing him. Potentially. I mean, he does have the banana, but I mean, I, I should. Yeah, I should. I should be out healing him. And then the poison, you know, is just going to be doing poison damage. So we should definitely be taking this. I'm sorry, Tim. Maybe next time, my friend. All right. Boom. Let's get the pan. Let's get the other broom. Do we have enough money for it? No, we don't actually. We only have seven. We definitely need the pan, though, for the shovel. So that's a no-brainer, no matter what. We don't even have enough space. It's okay. Well, let's just get the broom. I'm just get the broom, and then we'll just save money uh, next round for the leather bag. And then we could just rock both. Look at this guy. Double, double pan. We should beat him, though. He has three weapons. He's not going to have enough stamina, right, to use all three weapons consecutively. So technically speaking, we should beat this guy. We should. We already got 10 more health than him, too. So, I mean, we should definitely beat this guy. He's not. Yeah. Look at look out of stamina. Out of, I mean, we're doing the same thing, you know, but still. <laughs> but still, you know, he's got three. We got two. All right, let's buy this. And then we can put our broom also inside of the poison. Love to see it. I don't want anything there. Uh, we could get another garlic or not. Let's reroll up banana. Definitely buy the banana. We could sell the garlic for the regeneration, which i think i'm a fan of right now just because we can get another garlic from the shovel if the shovel wants to be nice to us we can um let's do that turn that on its side and then we can just have our regeneration on the outside like that double regeneration with the banana flying arlick we got poison this guy it's got three bananas <laughs> guys got three bananas with a pan he's gonna be mess a massive pan that is seven to eight damage bro he's definitely gonna be out dpsing us that's a 3.8 damage per second versus our what looks like a little bit over four but our stamina is way lower than his because we have two weapons he's got one weapon so i think he's definitely gonna be out dpsing us as far as weapons go but we do have our poison that we can rely on and our regeneration however i don't think it'll be enough i do not think it'll be enough it is tied for now right let him miss this miss damn it he hit us for eight all right it's still tight though it's still tight our regeneration is is clutching us right now along with our poison take that poison damage take that 10 poison damage come on boom take that 11 take that get die die take that 11 poison damage take that 11 laser there we go <laughs> it really came down to that it was either he was gonna take the 11 poison damage or i was going to get hit by his pan and die look at that blood harvester that guy right there is yummy, but that's not what we're here for. I'm sorry, Mr. Blood Harvester. That's not what we're here for. Let's go ahead and get some speed up here. I'm going to re-roll on the leather bag. We could get regener... Honestly, uh, flying garlic or regeneration or even a garlic. All of those would be pretty solid choices in my opinion. Let's uh, put that down so we can get some speed up on our weapons because I think that's important. We can also put the regeneration on the outside like so. I think we buy a food item here just so we can help out with the storage coffin. And I think... We can either do uh, garlic or flying arlic. Both of them would be pretty solid, in my opinion. Um, or honestly, I don't even think we can fit. Now that I look at it, yeah, we're not gonna be able to fit. Uh, two unless we get more space. We need more space. We won't be able to fit a food item inside of there, honestly. So maybe we even just let's go with a regeneration. I'm going regenerate regeneration just because we're not gonna be able to fit the food item uh inside of the storage coffin to even use it for um to even use it for the poison so that's why i went through regeneration there oh this might be a little bit a bit of a problem dude's got the health potion which is good he's also got the carrot on three uh three food items so that'll be combating our poison 
a lot. He's got more food items than we do. He's got double banana, double garlic with the carrot, and we just got those two. So this will be a close one. I mean, we can maybe stay in this battle thanks to our poison. We're gonna be able to out poison the carrot, but a carrot still kind of, still kind of sucks. You know? Look at him. All right. Look at that, just cleansing our poison. But we got five with the six regeneration. We got more regeneration than he does, but it'll really come down to fatigue. And when he gets to that half health, as soon as he uses that potion, are we still gonna be in this? That's the question of the day right now. That's the question of the day. We'll just have to wait and see. Nine poison on him, not bad. Not bad. Oh, there goes the healing potion. Oh, and we're still tied? Kinda ish? Kind of ish. It did cleanse some of our poison, though. We are still tied, technically, and we're out healing him. This is a close one. This is a close one. Oh, there it goes. The poison takes it home. Poison takes it home. Love to see it. And we got, got this guy. We can sell that. I'm probably going to sell that. Um, I'm actually not. I do want the stat. I'll get this just because I want the space. Let's re-roll. Ooh, there goes our first health potion. Love to see it. Love to see it. I think we re-roll again. Blueberries, baby. And that. Let's get um actually, yes. Yes. Just so we can buy the blueberries. It's the only reason. Just so we can buy the blueberries. I mm, I mean, technically speaking, what I could do is move both of these back by one. Right? Put that there. That right there. And then put the blueberries in a corner. Or even do that. That works. And then we could just put the stamina pack wherever we want. Let's go ahead and upgrade our health potion. And then put those, yeah, just put those there. And let's re-roll here. We did not get lucky, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's fine. Oh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I've been seeing this a lot, actually. Instead of, like, people rocking the double shovel, it seems like people are rocking just a super pan, bro. 5.3 damage per second. Just a super, a super pan. He's also got the flute on him as well. We might lose this. He's definitely out DPSing us. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The best we could do is maybe try to take his accuracy down with our blind, right? But I mean, 85% accuracy. Fatigue's probably about to kick in any second now. We're not going to be able to put on enough uh, blind on him for him to not be consistent with his hits. I don't think, at least. Because that is gnarly. And he's gaining, uh, he's gaining luck because of the flute as well. So that combats our accuracy uh, debuff that we're trying to put on them. We just have to rely on poison and our regeneration to take us home. But um, uh, there goes our health potion right there. He we he just did 23 damage to us, by the way. 23 damage. There goes another 20. Yeah, we're not taking us home. We're not. He double critted on us, bro. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Good game, though. Boom. Upgraded health potion. Let's get that. And I'm going to skip on that for space. Oh, this is what I need. That is what I need. That right there. And we could also, boom, get a little bit more speed on our items. Swap you two around. Just put this in where we want. Reserve the health portion because we're going to need it. And uh, let's go ahead and rock. Okay, another double shovel user. What a, ooh. A little setup for food is looking kind of nasty. What is the percentage on this? 75%. Okay. It says that the chance based effects on the star are 25% more likely to trigger. However, it went from 60 to 75. So I don't know if that 25 is is that much accurate. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a solid increase. You know what I mean? So we're definitely going to be taking blind. We have no luck. Our thing's what? 65% accuracy, 65% accuracy. The battle just started. 60, 60. It's still going to keep going down. The only thing we can rely on is going to be our poison. That's the only, only option we have right now is going to be our poison for sure. Oh, there goes our health potion. Love to see if fatigue is kicking in. But on the bright side, I mean, we are tied. And he started with 45 leather armor, right? So I believe, even though he's got double shovel with the critical, I believe we are going to be able to out DPS him here, especially because of our regeneration with our poison. Or not. Never mind. He just double critted on us. We can one shot him. Poison, poison. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah, now we got ourselves the magic staff. Let's re-roll. Boom. Let's get that. Get the potion belt, because that's gnarly. We'll put this uh there. That works. And then we can uh just do this, rotate this just like so. Upgrade that guy. 
we could get ourselves let's yeah let's get ourselves a garlic and a regeneration just because we can the only thing we need now is a nice nasty demonic flask if i can roll for that i might roll again let's just roll again okay that was not smart but um uh do we need the space because we could easily just do something like that keep everything you know keep everything centered in the middle um we got two spaces i mean we, do, we are definitely going to be needing space so i'm just going to keep that there just because we'll need it oh this is looking pretty nasty i'm gonna be honest double claws of attack with the hero sword with the hero sword and then he's also got the piercing arrow double carrot i mean sorry double banana with the carrot lucky pig and a shield of valar definitely going to be out dpsing us here as you can see right however there goes our healing potion number one healing potion number two is about to start oh, healing potion number two there we go we got 10 regeneration we got 16 uh poison on him i think we killed this guy i think we take oh my god double double critical come on come on poison Woo! that was close these battles these battles are way close oops did not mean to take you all the way up there battles are way close we're definitely getting the blueberries here just so this guy can uh, activate a little bit faster um what should we get here though do we need the space right now where should our blueberries go we do this rotate this like so boom get that yo thank you for the follow puffer putter putterfus <laughs> i like your name thank you i appreciate that let's put that on our magic staff do we need space do we need space? I feel like if I don't get space now, I'm going to regret it. So I'm about to space. I'm about to regeneration and we'll roll. And we did not get what we needed. However, I could get this right here. And I could just put this anywhere, right? It doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm pretty sure. Honestly, let's put it here. Rotate this so it can hit the banana. And then we could put a regeneration inside that guy and that's looking pretty nice let's start that guy i like the gameplay but i've never tried it myself you should definitely it's free by the way the demo is free if you've never played this game my friend i highly recommend it it's a great game great 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 game so this guy is rocking the blood thorn he's got the goobert with the pan interesting build he's got here he's got a poison dagger he's got a bloody dagger he's got three different types of daggers a pan a goobert yeah i i know you're not gonna have any stamina my friend i know there goes one of our health potions. We should take this guy out. I mean, we got 10 regeneration. We haven't used one of our health potions yet. We're looking almost pretty tied. Almost, almost pretty tied. But I mean, he is putting a lot of... Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that. He's putting a lot of slow on us. We are 10% slower. He's also got the poison on us. We tied for poisons right now. We already used our second health potion. This guy is actually going to beat us. Come on, regeneration. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Nine. Nine. I forgot. He also had the Book of Light. It's because he was definitely out healing us. Book of Light plus the Goober, bro. I think the Goober... The Goober is really what did it. The Goober uh, made it seem like uh, he was definitely out healing us. And we... Ooh. I definitely want this guy. But where can I actually fit him is the question. We'll buy him. We can sell both of these. And we can also get the another bag. This will help us put the uh, the birdie somewhere. Because I want him kind of just like this, actually. So we'll have to do that. Boom. Put the birdie down. So all of this is going to be a lot faster now. Let's start the battle. It seems like a lot to learn, though. I've been playing it for, like, maybe a month now. And I get the I, I got the gist of the game down. So you'll get it. You'll get it. Just like any, any game. You'll get it. That is a lot, though. <laughs> It's definitely a lot, but once you get it, you got it. You know what I mean? All right, so this guy is like our kryptonite. We're definitely not winning this. We're definitely not winning this, mainly because of the Ripshaw Blade. He removes our regeneration, and we need our regeneration to live. Like, we're already down regeneration. We have no more regeneration. The only thing we can rely on for healing right now is our uh, is our banana and our health potions, but that's about it. I mean, we are putting the poison on him, but it's 56 to 77. He's got that 12. Yep. There's no way... There's no way we take this guy out right now. Right? Uh, 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 nope. Nope. No way. We need to get ourselves a demonic flask as soon as possible. I will buy this mana orb. I use up a lot of gold, but I needed that mana orb. Oh, why? Why? Uh, ooh. 
Damn, we need this too. Dang, I just, um, let's sell that. Uh, I'm trying to get me a demonic flask. Really trying to get me a demonic flask right now, but this will help us. Should I put this? I should put this somewhere else actually, but this will help us because of our mana that we need because this uses three mana to deal plus six of damage. Um, and I still don't think that these were uh, dealing and or getting enough mana. So getting this mana orb uh, should help us with our DPS a lot. What are games do you usually stream? Noita. This and Noita are the games that I stream the most. Or the only games I stream, to be honest. Uh, where should I put this though? We uh Yeah, this will work. Let's put it there and or... let's actually put it here. I like this area more. I think that the magic staff activates more than the shovel does. That's why I'm putting it here, right? Um, and then the blueberries also activate more um yeah the blueberries activate more than any other of the foods so i'm gonna rock something like this i believe would probably be best we need more one more food to put right there or we could do that i didn't even think about that we could literally just do that so we got two food two food we got um banana double blueberry with the magic staff for that mana it's going to be feeding into our magic staff to be dealing a little bit more damage we could really put that anywhere we want and then just have the regeneration probably right there because why not and that's pretty solid we also um hopefully these trigger because of the 30 percent because of the uh because of the potion belt right so there's that i think this is probably the best it could be let's put that on the magic staff instead and let us start you never heard of noida are you into roguelike games because both of these i would i would consider both of these roguelike games but they're like popular games in the roguelike space pretty much this guy man anytime i see the bloodthorn i get scared so this guy's got the bloodthorn he's also got the nocturnal lock lifter hella food hella garlic with the flying arlic he's got the leather armor strong potion like he started off with what 100 something shield bro you know what i mean thankfully he doesn't have anything to take away our regeneration or take away our poison so this might be in our favor just a little bit we took away all this shield already and it's not really tied but we're getting there we're getting there you know what i mean we're getting there he does have seven vampirism though he's dealing what 17 to 21 damage with that with that sword but we used up all of our healing potions. We got 15 regeneration. We got 15 poison on him. Come on. If we keep building up that poison, we might be... Look. It's getting... It's getting... It's in our favor. It's in our favor. We might be taking this one home. Oh! 37 damage. It's in our favor. Come on. Keep it coming. Come on, poison. There goes the poison going off. There we go. Taking that one home. Someone, but I don't play them uh, much myself. What games are you... Uh, what games do you usually play? How are we gonna do this? We need to get our potion belt alone, I think, right? So I also wanna buy the Book of Light. Let's sell the sandbag and let's sell that because I believe we're gonna need the money. And let's sell that, okay. Now we have enough. We, I don't think we're gonna be able to buy that potion though because I want the Book of Light. I didn't pay attention to how much mana we had, but I think if we had enough mana to be for this book alike to be used i think that'd be really really good along with the eight heal you know what i mean be pretty damn solid actually no we might be able to buy the potion here we can oh we might have to rearrange this a lot actually all right hear me out hear me out hear me out I'm going to move all of this, okay? We're moving all of this. Let's move this over by one. And let's put our potion belts all the way on the right-hand side. We can replace that. Put our potions back down. And now let's uh, let's see if we can actually put the birdie down. Okay. I'd rather have it, like, here, I think. But I don't want to replace the banana. Or actually... Yeah, let's put it there. That way, this is actually being activated by the bird instead of banana. The banana activates every five seconds. This activates every three seconds. So I think that's a little bit better. And then we could do that. Put the banana on it like so. Or actually, what is this? 3.5 seconds. The book of light is every three seconds. So what we could potentially actually do is this. Right? Because that's activated every three seconds. And then we could just put the, the blueberry in there just to put the blueberry in there. So now this is this is going to be generating most of our mana, I believe, for the magic self and for the book. The blueberries are kind of just like 
there, I guess. You know? Um, we can actually do this into there. And we could just put the blueberry there just so they can get, what, 20% faster? Or keep it here for the poison. The 25% chance to activate poison. Um... I don't know. I think I think having it here just for the 20% faster is a little bit better because that's only a 25% chance to activate, right? Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And then we can get our health potion. Extra health potion is always good. Let's reserve that. We need to get ourselves a demonic flask. ASAP. ASAP. I don't know. I don't really stick to any genres for long. I play a build of Mordow League of Legends and some horror. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Those are pretty good games, though. Dude, I've never played any of them but i know that they're good games because i know of them you know what i mean that's how you know a game is good when you know of them you know or at least popularized all right so this guy this might be bad this might be bad oh that's a lot of poison that is 20 poison the game just started he's definitely gonna be racking up poison on us because of the dev side the flying arlic mr struggles on the side Oh, I mean, we're tied for now, but we're about to take 26 days. Oh, come on. Come on, health potions. Come on, health potions. Let's go. We might actually win this. We might actually win this. Oh, my. How? We had like... That is insane. Let's go with health potions. Do you see that? Just because these cleanse four and then they like feed off of each other as well. Like that was actually pretty damn good. Surprisingly, that was pretty damn good. We could get ourselves another book of light. That's always an option that we have. I think we do, just not this early, right? I believe I want to buy the protection first. I need to get that demonic flask. I need, I need, I need that demonic flask as soon as possible. I might just reroll a bunch of times here to see if I can get it. Ooh. Ah, damn it, bro. Ah, the game does not like me right now. One more time. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. The game does not like me. I don't like the game. It's not my friend. It's not giving me a demonic flask. How are we supposed to use it on healing staff when we can't get the demonic flask? You know what I mean? We need to get that guy. This guy right here. That is going to be a lot of vampirism. If I've obviously ever seen a lot of vampirism. He's got a hungry blade with the blood thorns. And he's got a bloody dagger with nocturnal. And he's got the vampire gloves. He's got 10 vampirism on us. This guy's doing 15 to 19 damage. This guy's doing a 2 to 16. 11 vampire. 12. Oh my gosh. This is not looking very tied right now. And on top of that, he's dealing poison damage to us as well. Thankfully, we have our health potions. You know what I mean? To combat that. To cleanse that poison that he's putting on us. And to heal us at the exact same time. So we're going to be sanding this just for a little bit. Is looking... Oh. He's also got his health potions, though. I didn't even see that. He's got two health potions of his own. He hasn't even used any of them. All of our health potions are gone. We got 18 regeneration, 14, 15 poison on him. Fatigue is kicking in. It's in our favor for now. Nah, it's not... It's looking tight. This is close. I don't know, man. This is close. I don't think we're generating enough mana for our book to light to be used. Because this is always going to be using that three each time it hits, right? So that's something we gotta uh, we gotta keep note of. Boom! Yeah, we're definitely not winning this. Way too much vampirism. Way too much vampirism. We didn't even come close to killing, dude. Man, we need that staff of two. <laughs> we need it. Oh, there we go. Finally, I don't know if we're gonna win this next one though. In order to even use it, right? Man, what can we do here? What can we do here? Um, we can re-roll. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We could potentially get a Goobert. Just because he's on sale. We could potentially get the Goobert. Where are we going to put him, though? That's the question. Let's do it. Let's get the Gooby. We can put the Gooby here. Just so it can be activated off of all four of those. We can put this guy there. I think we generate enough mana for this uh, to be used, but we definitely don't for the Book of Light. We just don't have any space for our banana. But I believe the Gooby should help us 
a lot, I think, I hope, just because of that 11 heal, right? You know what I mean? Too bad we don't really have any space to really put this guy, though. It's a little unfortunate. What we can do... Actually, we could do this. Just like that. Even though this is a little bit slower, at least we'll have the heal, you know? Oh, this isn't being activated by no food. Not a single lick of food at all. Let's reroll. Damn it. Okay. We might lose this next one. Let's see what we're going against. Ah, oh, big cards. I hate cards, bro. Every time I go against someone using cards, I always lose. Always. So he's already stole life from us and he's gained two regeneration. There goes another one. What did he do? Your next hit is critical if the number of cards before is odd. Gain two and two. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Nine spikes, bro. That is not good at all. He's got eight vampirism. We've already used two of our healing potions already. Oh, there goes another healing potion being used. Oh my gosh. Look at the block. Oh my. We just took 65 damage. Holy shit. There's no way we win this right now. Hold up. He used all his cards. Hold up. He has no more cards left. We have 16 regen. He's got 15 poison. He does have he does have the the, the, the he does have 16 spikes and he does have the nine. Um, oh, I forgot about the demonic flask. Holy crap! Oh, we we actually might win this. Oh my gosh! I did not think we were winning that at all. I am ecstatic. Holy crap! We finally got our staff of healing. All right, all right. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Let's get the fanny pack. Um, can I put this here? Yes, I can. I will definitely be taking that. Thank you so much. Um, do we need the space? I kind of want to reroll. I want to reroll and I want to be able to get something that gives us more mana in order to use our book of light. We could get a birdie. Ooh, a birdie. I think a birdie is a W here. Let's get the birdie. Let's reroll. Um, nothing really that I want there. Let's put the birdie up here just like that yeah yeah that's good that's good that's good that's good or right here yeah that's even better nice is there any way we can rearrange this let me think there might be a way we can rearrange this to be a little bit better just a tad mainly for the sake of food honestly mainly for the sake of food and, and um to speed up the uh the blueberries a little bit i think we can maybe rearrange this just a little bit. Put that there. I think that's better. Um, and honestly, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the best we could probably do. Put that there and we can drop that guy on there. Let's reserve you and you because you're on sale. I wasn't planning on keeping the goober, but I think we have to. I think we have to keep the goober. I just hope, hope, hope that we can gain enough mana. We need, what, five? We just need five mana. Five, I mean, we do have the mana orb. We got five mana, boom. All our healing is now doing damage to him for two seconds. Two seconds, let's see. And I believe it stopped. We got our five mana again, boom. So we should be dealing, our healing should be also dealing damage to him at all times now, I believe, because we're generating enough mana for it to do so. Which it seems like it since we're tied right now and this guy's got the freaking bow and arrow. He's got the he's got the thorn whip. He's got the claws of attack. He's got the acorn. He's got critical out the ass right now. And we're still still even with all that critical doing 39 damage to us. It seems like maybe just maybe. Yeah, we can we might we should be able to take this home. He just used this which made it in his favor a little bit. Oh, there goes his healing potions. We haven't even used ours. Well, we just did. But still, we should be taking this one home. Boom! Big damage from our healing potion right there. As soon as this guy activated, too. Let me get another one. Boom! Let me get another one. Let me get... Boom! Come on, healing potions! Come on, healing potions! Oh, I don't know. I don't really... Uh, oh, I read that already. I'm a nut. <laughs> Let's see. Should we get another mana orb? I think we do. I honestly think we do for, uh, for the Book of Light. I believe that would be a W. Boom! 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 And my question is, where are we putting this guy? Man, I wish I didn't have this goober. Can, can we just sell the goober? Should we just sell the goober? 
We could do that. That actually works. Yeah, that actually works. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Let's buy you, roll, and... We could get another flying arm. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think that. Or act... Well... Nah, I think this is great. I think this is solid. We might have to... If we lose one more time... We're we're gonna we're gonna rearrange. That's if we lose one more time. Let's reroll here. Actually, I'll buy this. I would love to have another potion. I might actually get me a stone skin potion here. I think that might be a little smart, just so I could feed off of this and we can get more. Um, we can get more block. You know what I mean? Um, even though if we don't have that twenty, it still works if it can trigger because of one of these potions, right? And we have four of them, so I think I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. So we'll buy that next round. Now, if we lose again, we're definitely going to have to rearrange. Holy crap. That's a lot of health potions. He's got a, he's three. He's got three strong healing potions. He's got the Pestilence Fire. So there goes our three poison right off the back. He's also got the Mana Thors. He's got, oh man, double Mana Orbs. So he's definitely going to be hitting hard with his Mana Thirst as soon as he gets up to that, uh, that 20 mana. But I mean, right now, it's looking in our favor. Let's wait until he gets up to that 20 mana though. Let's see what happens. Boom, 20 mana. And now, what is it? Still 12 life increased by one for each vampirism. That didn't really do much for you, my friend. You need something that uses up that mana, my friend. Where's your, where's your book of lights? What are you doing? You need, but look at that. Look at that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's go. Book of lights for the win. He hasn't even hit our, our, our health bombs. Here comes fatigue. Wait till we get down to half health, my friend. You're going to get hit. You're gonna get hit hard. Wait till we get there. Come on, get us down. I just want to see what happened. Like, like it. 42. Okay, keep hitting us for 42 damage. Keep it, keep it up. Keep it up. Boom. Oh, that was him. There we go. Boom, boom. Come on, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Boom. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Should we get another Book of Light? Do we generate enough mana? I mean, if we generate enough mana for one Book of Light, then more than likely, we generate enough mana for two Book of Lights. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and buy that. We'll replace this with the banana. Just because it's three seconds, that's five seconds. So this will activate almost double as fast. Um, we can sell... Do we have enough space? Yeah, we do. We can sell this and also that just to get the Stone Skins Potion. We can move these up here just so they can hit our uh, potions as well. And we can sell the banana to get our purse, which I think is... Uh, I don't really have a spot to even put the banana, so that's why I sold it. Um, I mean, even though every time we heal, we deal damage and the banana kind of feeds off of that. But I mean, I think we'll be fine. Except when we're going to get someone using the ripshaw blade. Only then am I scared. <laughs> Only then am I scared. This guy's got the ripshaw blades. He got triple birds. He's using pandalonium with a, a ruby whelp. He's got a lot. This is a lot of random things that he's using right now. He's got um he's got the leaf with the book. So boom, there goes invulnerability for one of his leaves. We're still tied though, so there's that. Still tied, but we have no regeneration right now. We have zero. But then again, we haven't used our health potions yet. So there's that. There goes our book of light triggering. Fatigue is kicking in. We're still pretty much tied. He's got 12 poison on us. We have three. This is not looking like it's about to be in our favor. We are definitely going to have to pray and hope that our health potions kill this man. Boom, there goes another invulnerability, which is actually good. I don't want my health potions triggering when that's going off, right? So now we just wait until we get down to half health. We're at 230. He's at what? 248. We're still kind of tied here, even though... We have 24 poison on us. We're still tied. <laughs> We're still tied. We're actually winning. Actually. We're freaking winning, even though we got the 28 poison on us. Boom, boom. Take him out, bro. Keep it coming. We still got what? Th we still got three uh health potions on us. And we got the strong skin potion as well. Come on. There we go. <laughs> this build is dirty. This build is so dirty. Let's re-roll. Let's, uh... Should we get the protective... Yeah. Let's buy the protective purse. We could honestly get a corrupted crystal. Just to deal that fatigue damage. And then we also have the birdies here to make it a little bit faster. I think that's a... I think that's a play. Let's sell you because we don't really need you like that. And let's... 
Nah, we don't really need the. Well. Nah, you know, we don't really need it. Let's reroll another health potion. Should we get the extra health potion? I think we do. Just for the sake of having health potions, I think it's a I think it's a pretty good idea. And damn, I wish we had another purse that we could use in order to upgrade. Well, no, we can't actually. Yeah, we need another protective purse in order to upgrade that. Um We have this one up here, but we would have to move this somehow. I mean, only thing it's only giving 10% faster <laughs> to our blueberries. I don't think it's like a, you know, I don't think it's a, a, a too big of a deal, right? To just move that over and just put this wherever we want. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Um, do we need the space? We kind of do need the space, but I don't think we have anywhere to put that big boy. We need a, uh, we need the three packer or the one packer. We need the purse or the stamina bag, honestly. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not this guy. Not the fatigue build. Hold up. Are we going to be able to deal enough DPS with our healing in order to take out fatigue, dude? I don't know, but I'm hoping so. He, he started, I think he started off with 300 shield. He's already down to 200, right? So that's a, that's a plus. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for us. He's also got the ripshot blade. So our regeneration is pretty much non-existent. He's dealing more poison than we're dealing to him. We got 10. He's got nine so far. But I mean, hey, Fatigue hasn't even hit yet. And we're almost done with his block. So that's actually really, really good, actually. We still haven't used either one of our Book of Lights either. Oh! Holy bomb, bro. There goes our Book of Light. Hit him again. Hit him again. We didn't even use all of our potions, bro. We didn't even use all of our potions. Dirty. I'm telling you guys, this build is oh my gosh we got another corrupted crystal we got another birdie can i fit this i can fit it there we just need space though i could put this here just for space but i also want the corrupted crystal i think we'll do that i think we'll put that there for space we could even maybe fit this in here Hmm. Hmm. Or right here. I don't know which one would be better. Or even right here. This will work. Just put it on the unhealing staff, on the shovel, and on that birdie. I believe where I really want to put it. I believe the the our damage right now mainly comes from the book of light these these two book of lights are our main source of damage until our healing potions are being used i believe today's amazing today why is today amazing what happened give me the tea give me the tea so i believe we should probably move this book of light somewhere somewhere else we should honestly i say move it there i think that'll be a little bit better just so that both of these birdies can hit the book of light so this can activate a little bit faster i think that is way better we could potentially get rid of the goober and we could replace the goober with this guy oh we should do this actually that is way better that is way better because both our book of lights are being activated because of this that is way better that is way 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 bit way better and then we can just put these pretty much wherever we want. We could potentially even upgrade our strong skin potion. Um, we can't fit that there though, can we? Actually, no, we can. We can do that and then do that. Boom. Oh, no, we can't actually. <laughs> I mean, we could do this. It won't be activated because of uh, it's not hitting our, um, what you call it? I mean, this is the last round too, so it doesn't matter. We just route this, but boom, here's the build. We got three birdies on the book of light for that eight healing um which is going to be doing the majority of damage because of our staff of unhealing and then whenever we drop below 50 percent health boom all of these are going to activate or the majority of them are going to activate over and over and over again to just decimate the enemy literally just decimate the enemy and then i guess the goober also helps with that 11 heal as well and then we got our mana orbs to even fuel this guy and then the shovel is just there because we just never got rid of it I sell the shovel. I can sell the shovel, but I don't really have anything else to put there because there was just nothing in the shop to put there at the time. But I agree. I agree. I feel like if I were to sell anything here, it would probably be the shovel because it doesn't really help us all too much. Now, this guy might this 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 guy might beat us. 
He's got the unhealing as well, along with two mana thirsts, and he's got four bombs. Which is kind of nasty. And he he was on his way of getting a third mana thirst too. Holy. I mean, we're kind of ish tied right now. We've already used up one of our healing potions, which is not good. That's already telling us he's doing more DPS than we are. This is not looking great right now. This is not looking great right now. There goes another one. Boom, boom. Oh, we used up everything we have. We have 26 regeneration right now. We've used up everything we have. But at the same time, he's still got three. He's still got three. So we're going to have to wait. I believe we'll survive until he uses his. And then that's really going to tell us who's going to win. There goes one. Okay, we're still in this. Still got our 26 regeneration. That's probably carrying us right now, along with the Book of Lights. Oh, this is close. Fatigue is killing us right now. There goes another one. Oh, no, nah, there's no way we win this. There's no way we win this. There's no way. Ah, oh, that was a good game, though. Look at this guy's build. Mana Thirst, bro. I never thought of using Mana Thirst. Just Mana Thirst with uh, the Staff of Unhealing and just rock some, like a bunch of mana. He's also had the Vampiric Gloves. I didn't even think about the Vampiric Gloves. 13 Vampirism. Combining that with the Mana Thirst. That's actually not bad. I like this guy's build. I like this guy's build. I feel like for us to make our build a little bit better, we'll probably sell the shovel, like you said, and then probably get rid of the goober. But incorporating mana thirst with a little bit of vampirism, I think was a W play on his part. Honestly, I think that was a W play, but good. that was a good game though. That was a good game. Hell yeah, that was great. I like that guy's build though. I'm in awe. I mean, oh, let me see the log. Staff of Unhealing, 240. How much did he take of us? 280. So we did more. We did more Staff of Unhealing damage. But we definitely took way more Fatigue damage than him. How did we take way more Fatigue damage than him? I don't even know. Especially considering we have the Corrupted Crystal. I've got no idea how we took more Fatigue damage than him. Let's see what else. 180 from Unhealing. 289 from oh staff on okay never mind i read that wrong but jesus look at that 234 damage from the mana thirst 198 from another mana thirst we took so much damage from the mana thirst i wonder if we had more book of lights would that made a difference i really wonder because the book of light was the main thing that we were using to deal DPS until our uh, potions were being used. So we had like maybe two more of these, uh, plus with their um, with their passive, you know, being invulnerable. I feel like that also helps a lot because these were activated what every one point thirty six seconds because of the birdies. So we sold our goober and potentially maybe possibly was able to get more book of lights. That could have been that could have been crazy. Potentially. That was a good game, though. That was a really good game. 